This month, our series on local libraries takes us up Route 30 through the Meadowy Valley to the town of Paulette and its population of a little more than 1,300 people, located just across the county line in Rutland County. The library used to be the location of the town's elementary school until the Meadowy Community School opened in 2003. Before then, the library was located across the street at Paulette's historic town hall. There are three main rooms in the library's ground floor, one focused on children and younger readers, and on the other side of the building is another room stocked with books, but which is kept open to make it easy for community groups to hold meetings there. In between, there's another central room with more books, audiobooks, and other items for borrowing, and is where we met up with head librarian Mary Lou Willits. In conjunction with the library's board of directors, she's been leading a review of the library's strategic plan as it looks forward into the future. The town has not been immune to the same sorts of changes impacting many other small rural communities in Vermont, an aging and shrinking population, the decline of the dairy agriculture business that was once the foundation of the town's economy, and a shortage of community places for people to meet and get together. That function, having community places for residents of different backgrounds to gather, was one of the main things to have come out of a community engagement process the library is currently undertaking and is now poised to begin implementing. We talked with Mary Lou Wilts about that and the other roles Paulette's library, as well as others in other towns, are playing as they evolve from places folks go to borrow or take out books. When we digested all that we learned, I mean, we interviewed 13 groups and several inter, uh, several individuals. When we analyzed that, and we analyzed it by the frequency that certain themes turned up, we found that number one was that people wanted a place to gather, that they were missing their general stores, and they wanted a place where they could meet up with people socially and have conversations. And then the second thing was that um, they wanted activities, they wanted things to do, intergenerational programs where they could engage with one another in a civil manner. And then, interestingly, they were concerned about kind of a debilitating divisiveness and lack of participation, a disconnectedness in the community. And there were several other, um, in fact, we uh, estimated and documented 10 top priorities. And the question that we asked that produced these priorities was, what are your aspirations for your community? So it was really looking at those aspirations that helped us determine our three service priorities for the library. And those guide our strategic plan for the next three to four years. And what we said was, we thought the library could help in these ways. First of all, we could provide a place. We have a beautiful, spacious building. It's open to everyone. And second of all, we could certainly produce programs for adults and children in intergenerational groups. And those programs could be designed to help heal the divides. For example, we came up with potluck programs. And potlucks are a great way for people just to gather. Just something about eating together makes everybody feel a little more relaxed. We had our first potluck, we had three six-foot tables full of food. Somebody brought a whole stuffed turkey. And after that, we talked about the priorities, the challenges, and the changes that needed to happen in town. And it was wonderful. So we have, you know, more potluck programs. In fact, in August, we're having a pot, we're closing this meadow, uh, the street uh, next to the library, Willoughby Lane, for a block party, a potluck, and after that the Washington County Band is going to play. So we also developed a series of Vermont Life Skill 
programs. And this was aimed at helping people acquire skills that might be needed to live in Vermont. And this would mix people who've been here for a long time with people who've recently moved here. For example, how to fish, how to can fruit. And we're also having one on how to manage your forested land, how to stack wood, how to select wood. So we think that there are ways that we can help. And another way that we hope to help is to be a lead organization in helping the other organizations and town organizations work together. And this would require a building our capacity here for the library. We need another staff person to help do that. But we really think that by even meeting monthly among these 13 groups that we interviewed, that we can find some common ground, we can share resources, we can find resources, and more importantly, that we can cultivate and encourage new leaders to come forward to help push important initiatives that would help the town. The Paulette Library will be hosting a large book sale the weekend of July 27th and 28th, and is also planning a couple of potluck dinners and other community discussions later in the year. You can find out more about the library by going to their website at paulettepubliclibrary.wordpress.com. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.